We are going to talk today about pornography addiction. <laughs> the brain becomes dependent on dopamine, not necessarily the porn or the gaming. We're going to talk about that still later. This creates a need to seek greater levels of, uh, levels of the neurochemical stimulation. So um, the dopamine receptors become blunted. So we're talking about being flooded, not these hits now and then, but the flooding. Like Dan was saying, um, it is not abnormal for someone to come in and say, well, what's, what's normal? How long do you watch pornography? Um, uh, anywhere between four and eight hours at a time. Four and eight hours at a time. Do people come in and say, I called mm -hmm. into work last, uh, today because I was up all night masturbating and I needed to sleep through work? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't want to say it happens every day, but it happens a lot, right? So um, they need greater levels of stimulation. The neuroreceptors to the dopamine literally blunt themselves. I say, I can't handle all of this. And what happens is we need more. And we're going to talk about uh, um, how they get more. Dopamine and oxytocin are released upon orgasm, so the brain actually attaches and bonds to porn as it would a life sexual partner. That's a bit of what my book is going to be about that Kana mentioned earlier, that it's like this attaching to an experience as opposed to another human being. 